Uh, the Honourable Jackie Dean. Mr Speaker, I will start with New Zealand families because, of course, New Zealand families are the foundation of our country. They are our future and they are incredibly important to, to all of us across this House. But I, I do want to run through a few facts and figures because I think budget this year is the budget which shows that this government cares for all New Zealanders. And so I'm going to, I'm going to start with the family incomes package, which illustrates the uh, economic uh, savvy of our finance minister, unlike that displayed by the member who just resumed his seat, who decried an expenditure of just over $400 million, as if it were a mere bagatelle, as if a $400 million was just a snap and just a fraction of, of what uh, the Labour Party and the opposition would just keep throwing money at things to make them better. Well, they tried that. They had nine years to try that in the Labour government, and that didn't end terribly well for them. People this like government cares for families, and this budget supports families. There is new expenditure of just over $2 billion a year in the family support package. And that will provide reward for New Zealanders' hard work. New Zealanders have worked hard over the nine years. We understand that. We're not going to, we're not going to throw their money around and, and, and waste their money. We are going to use New Zealanders' hard-earned money, and we are going to put more of that money back into their own pockets. It is so important that New Zealand families have a direct share in the benefits of what is turning out to be a strong economy now and into the future. I'm just going to go through some of the facts and figures around um, uh, the family income package. 1.3 million wor working age families will be $26 better off under this package on average. 136,000 low income families will benefit increases to the accommodation supplement. Labor didn't do that. Didn't Labor had the chance to do that. No. 136,000 low income families will benefit. People earning over uh, $22,000 a year will be $11 better off a week. That's significant in a family. People earning over $52,000 a year will be $20 better off a week. That is significant. And around 750,000 superannuitants and 41,000 students will also benefit from the family's income package. Uh, Mr Speaker, this government has crafted a budget for all New Zealanders, but I want to uh, leave families there for a moment, because how does that expenditure fit into the wider budget which this government has crafted? Because this budget is about delivering better services for what is a growing economy. Um, the, ex the government is allocating $7 billion over four years uh, in this budget to sustain and expand public services in health, in education, in law and order and social development. And I just want to pause there and congratulate Honor uh, Honourable Paula Bennett, Minister of Police, for her very sensible and proactive announcement today yeah, yeah. where she is putting extra resources into assisting um, retailers and shopkeepers who are coming under sustained Thank attack you. from young thugs, I think they were described as Mr. today. Said, yeah. uh, uh, Minister Tolly said today, young thugs who are going into shops and uh, undertaking aggravated rob robberies in hard-working New Zealanders. I'd love to see Labor decry that expenditure. It's, it's nuanced, it's a good investment, and it will benefit small businesses in New Zealand. Mr Speaker, I will move on to small business, but I, there, are just a couple of, there are just a couple of other figures. You see, Labor don't want to hear the figures, but here they come. Over four years, $3.9 billion in New Zealand's health sector. Now, I'm a member and I take an interest in the Southern District Health Board and the South Canterbury District Health Board. There will be extra funding going into both of those health boards to deliver more health services for New Zealand, more elective surgeries, um, uh, better health care for rural people, for, for pregnant women, for elderly, all sorts of health care, more for the South Island. I celebrate that as I celebrate the expenditure across New Zealand. $1.1 billion for schools, 
and early childhood centres. And thank you, Honourable Nikki Kay, for, for putting the expenditure and funding towards a new school for Wanaka. Wanaka is one of the fastest growing areas in New Zealand. The, the Minister recognises that growth causes pressure and has responded by funding a new school for Wanaka. Of course there are new schools throughout New Zealand and four new classrooms for Mount Aspiring College. This is a government which looks ahead, understands the nature of growth and caters for it. But I want to go to small business now. I started talking about small business in the context of Auckland sh shopkeepers who are under attack by a number of young thugs, and this government is prepared to do something about that. I want to talk about the direct investment into small business. Um, first of all, I will talk about economic growth, which uh, without economic growth, you don't get benefits for small budget, but with an expected growth of 3.1% over the four years, there will be a good environment for small business and for enterprise to thrive. This expenditure in skills, we need more skilled workers. We need more immigration. We need more people coming in to fill the skill, skills gap. But at the same time, we need to be training up more workers to fill those gaps. I want to, um, I want to talk about the $100 million in tourism infrastructure another great success story for New Zealand and the New Zealand economy, but with the success and the increasing number of tourists do come pressures, and those pressures fall largely on small tourist routes, many of which are in the South Island. This $100 million package will go a long way to helping to provide those things like toilets and parking spaces, dealing with the pressures around freedom camping, dealing with the pressures around tourist drivers. That is a very positive, um, very positive budget announcement which will help small business, those tourist businesses in those, in those tourism areas which are feeling the strain of growth. Not such a bad thing. Mr Speaker, I also want to um, uh, reference the increased expenditure announced in the budget around irrigation. We know that South Canterbury, Canterbury, North Otago, Central Otago, their local economies have hugely benefited from the in in investment in, small in, sorry, in irrigation. Um, but also as a benefit of that, the environment has, has benefited as well. Water quality is benefiting from irrigation. Not a popular uh, message I hear from the Greens, but I direct them down to the Opua Dam and have a, have a look at their water quality enhancements as a result of investment in irrigation. The community benefits and the environment benefits. I want to uh, zero in now on the small business portfolio and talk about several um, well-funded initiatives in this budget, Mr Speaker, and in particular under the umbrella of Result 9, Better for Business, and that is about making the environment um, easier for small business to do business with government. The one thing that small business needs is the framework to enable them to go about their business and when they have to interact with government, with inland revenue, with immigration, with work and income, they can do that with ease. And I do direct uh, listeners and viewers to business.gov.nz, which has received extra funding, uh, gets $3 million annually. That is the website uh, for small business to, to go on to have a look at an employment relations builder, to have a look at how they can make their New Zealand business number work. And I finally, Mr Speaker, want to finish on, on talking about the, the small business roadshows. We are travelling the length and breadth of New Zealand, taking the government <coughs> to small town New Zealand. We want business to understand that there is training vouchers available to them through Callaghan and Innovation. There is assistance to them in now in the changes to paying provisional tax. All of these things are designed to make business, doing business, easier in New Zealand. Why? because small business is a major contributor to the New Zealand economy. Small business makes, uh, makes up the vast uh, 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 economic endeavours in small town New Zealand as it does in the cities. It should be supported. It is supported under this government. Mr Speaker, this is truly a budget which sets the framework for success, continuing success, not only in small business, which is my portfolio, but for all New Zealanders. Thank you, Mr Speaker.
Mr. Speaker. Dr. Kennedy Graham, a five-minute call. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Uh,